Oh boy, looks like we have another creature um, coming out of the woodwork, coming after my man Church. We're about to see what is on old heavy duty country's mind. So let's go ahead and get right into this thing thing. But first, intro. I, uh... Yo, what's good guys? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another reaction video and best and best believe we had to hit up this one because apparently um, Heavy Duty Country has beef with Upchurch um, according to his video uh, the title reads Upchurch the BLM simp wants an apology from me here you go uh, yeah, um, bruh, that, I don't know about that title, man, that title is just all kinds of wrong in my opinion, but anyhow, let's go ahead, guys, and get right into this thing and see what, uh, OHDC is talking about here, bye, like it to hear here, I don't know if I'm, I'm gonna be liking this, but anyway, hear here, go. So, do what you gotta do. And this is the last message you're getting from me until I get a fucking apology. It is what it is. Do what you feel is right. Look that burn. Wow, he done he done burn a little piece of paper that said R H E C on it. Okay, I don't know how tough he got to be to uh, send that little little symbolic message out if you will I guess I don't know but I mean okay so Ryan Upchurch wants an apology from me he is really upset that I called him out on now what's weird was that I didn't hear church at all address HDC by name which is usually what church will, will do if he's calling somebody out so, uh, I wonder where HDC got this um, piece of video footage from. Please feel free to let me know. I'm, I'm really curious. On not keeping his word. You know, Ryan, I would have called you and done this over the phone with you, kept it between you and me. But you do business like a little schoolgirl, huh? You sent me a little message. If you don't apologize, we're never talking again. And then you block my number. So. Where else can I give you the apology other than here? Just remember that you asked for this. Here's a big ass Texan apology for you. I am so sorry for not calling you out for being a little poser until now. Yeah, right. <laughs> you really think that you're gonna scam me out of thousands of dollars and I'm just gonna stay silent? not have a conversation with you about it at least just gonna totally ignore the situation like it okay um prior to this let's see if we can uh we go to my man's channel now up until this point there's no previous videos on dude addressing this issue with church so uh i don't know where my man is coming from with all this and why he's saying the things that that he's saying about church, talking about all oh, church blocked his number and what have you. Now, I don't know. I think I think my man is trying to reach for an out for an excuse to not handle things behind the scenes over the phone, which is what he probably should really be doing. Um, I mean, if, unless I see receipts, unless I see proof, I'm sorry. I'm just not gonna. I I can't take you by your word. I mean, it is what it is. It never happens. Sweep me under the rug like you've done to so many other people in your career? Are you serious? Trust me, your open carry little gun and your skin tight jeans aren't scaring anybody. You've never been up against someone like me before and you're about to see why. So light up a blunt or whatever you're smoking nowadays and enjoy. It's a shame though, I would have way rather handled this like real country boys. Uh, 
You got something to say? I mean, you, you, you still could. You could probably still message him behind the scenes. So, I mean, you're kind of contradicting yourself here, my guy. Hey, you're really upset that I called you out about something? Okay. Eventually. Be really upset. Find a gym that has an octagon. We'll both sign waivers. Hell, I wouldn't have even made you. This guy must be a gobbleneck fan because here he is calling church out for a fight. I'm just saying. Wear gloves. I'll wear them. That way I don't mess up your face too much for the five shows you do a year. And then we can talk once we're on the canvas like men. Few inches later. You see, I have to go back and forth with these people on the left because none of them would ever offer me to do what I just did to you. But we're country boys. We don't need to do any of this stuff to each other. We're one of the same, or are we? But we all know that Ryan is 99% talk and 1% walk, if that. So this is what we're resorting to now. But hey, the offer is still open. If you do still have some country boy in that Black Lives Matter loving ass, oh yeah, you know what's coming, don't you? A badass country boy who spends 200 grand plus a year on security. That's about as country as Paris Hilton blowing Sleepy Joe. Find it strange that uh, he's accusing Church of being a BLM supporter, BLM lover. I mean, bro, you you trading on very dangerous territory there. I'm I'm just saying, and then, uh, bro. Bruh, dude, old boy is coming out of pocket with this one. So this is what we're resorting to now. But hey, the offer is still open. If you do still have some country boy in that Black Lives Matter loving ass. Oh yeah, you know what's coming, don't you? A badass country boy who spends 200 grand plus a year on security. That's about as country as Paris Hilton blowing Sleepy Joe. Ryan paying um, people to watch his back, that is, dude, that, that is him prof providing employment, providing jobs for people, which is, yeah, it, it, which is country, my guy. That is the American way. So he pays two hundred thousand a year for security. Okay, you're, you're gonna pick on this man for paying two hundred thousand a year for for uh, giving people jobs, for giving someone uh, employment just to watch his back. I don't know, dude. And then and then accuse him of being a BLM lover. Like what? What does that even mean, bruh? Oh yeah, and one more thing before we get started here, because clearly Ryan is letting Sleepy Joe bend him over now. Stop telling me to say, let's go, Brandon. I just, I want to punch you in the fucking forehead when you tell me that. I just feel like it's kind of, you know, making me dumber. Let's go, Brandon. Okay, so because Church refuses to say something that someone else told him to say, that automatically makes him... A Sleepy Joe supporter. Church has never liked politics. He said this in many videos. He doesn't like politics. He doesn't like talking about politics. Now, to be fair, yes, he did talk about, you know, the uh, debates. I mean, during the election year, he's he he's given his opinions on the election and everything, which my man is entitled to do. You know what I mean? He's a warm-blooded American, just like the rest of us that are living in this country of ours. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, Church has always said that he doesn't like politics. He never really, really likes to get into politics because he is not trying to divide his fan base. Bruh, let's go. Now you tell me how dumb that makes someone saying that after I'm done with this entire video. We'll see how dumb it really is. <laughs> All right, so for those of you who don't know, Ryan hit me up during the whole Tennessee bombing thing and he praised me a whole bunch about what I was doing to combat the Black Lives Matter movement. We had a whole bunch of conversations through texts and on the phone and eventually he invites me out to Tennessee to hang out and to do whatever. I ended up going with the only intention 
of hanging out. Yeah, right. Maybe doing a few videos together, just having some fun. And when I'm there, we talk about this old song that I did that I didn't spend that much time on, didn't really put a whole bunch of effort into it, and I thought it was terrible. Are you serious? And he's like, no, man, you just need the right guidance. Let me introduce you to my producer. He wanted me to meet him. <laughs> so anyways, I meet with this producer. Ryan talks him up the entire time. And during that conversation, he says, yeah, man, if you sign with this producer, I'm gonna help you with this album. Oh man, this is gonna be awesome. Oh, so Church try to offer you help with your music career. And, you, and then what, and, and you, you're gonna penalize him for that too? You could open for me one day. I'm gonna be a huge part of this. So I sign with this producer based off of his word. Otherwise, I wouldn't have even known who the guy was. Well, hell, I'm glad all of this turned out the way it is. The rest of the trip was fun. I asked for nothing. I insisted on paying my way. They wouldn't let me. And then we talked about Black Lives Matter at the time winning. So they took care of you too. Okay, showing that Southern hospitality. Hmm, okay. And Nobel Peace Prize. And it really pissed off Ryan. So he went on his Instagram and made all these videos. Black Lives Matter group. You fucking terrorists. You can all suck my fucking ass. You destroy, you shit on this country. You say you fucking don't like this country. You just, you, you're you not doing anything to fucking help the country. Hell was even in mind about it. I'll get back to these in a second. Anyways, months go by and it's time for me to go to Tennessee to record. And all of a sudden, Ryan Upchurch's <clears throat> word becomes a big pile of cow shit. Are you serious? Hey man, it's time to record. Do those dates work for you? November 10th. 11th and 12th. Let me know if those dates work for you, man, and I'll book a flight. I get a response back. Who is this? Look, I get mistakes happen. People flop on their word all the time. But it's not about the mistakes you make in life, it's how you own them. Two hours later. And when I called Ryan out for being nowhere to be found and me being fed up with it, so me canceling the whole thing and me going back to him for my money, because his word was worth shit. He sends me this little video where if I don't apologize, he's never talking to me again. You must think I'm some peasant. You think you're so holy that you think I'm gonna let you gaslight me and just bow down to you? <laughs> okay, I don't know how legit those messages are. I mean, anyone can make a profile with a writing up church name, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, who am I at the end of the day to, to judge? Now look, I'm not saying my man here is right. I'm not saying he's wrong either. I'm not saying church is right, church is wrong. Look, I don't know the whole situation. I don't know what really went down between these two. But yo, I don't know. Maybe it's best for y'all to just give each other some space. That's really all I can say about this. But anyway, let's get back into this. Clearly you underestimated the shit out of me because I don't care who you are. I don't care what you do. I don't care how much money you make. If you're a shitty person to me, if you give me your word on something and it doesn't mean shit, I'm gonna call you out. But like I said, he's nowhere to be found. Clearly he doesn't wanna do it anymore. Probably was simping over Nicole Arbor like he was the entire time I was in Tennessee that weekend. Oh my God, so I'm gonna rent out a go-kart arena for us? I don't know how much it is, but it, it's gonna be a lot. I'm gonna pick her up in my Lambo, and then we're gonna go, we're gonna dress up as Mario and Peach. It'll be so cool. Do you think someone like me is impressed by fucking Lambos? Yeah. And the fact that you can rent out a go-kart arena? Yeah. I kick shit around all day. You see my hat? It's got more dirt on it than your boots have had in the past two years. Are you serious? Or maybe you were simping on Morgan Wallen, and then you started crying when he figured out probably what I figured out. But anyways, it was time to get my money back because the money was spent based on someone's word. And to me, your word is worth more than any amount of money. And then everyone blocks me. It's okay. Uh. Keep my four grand. We'll call it charity. But now you disappearing and your word meaning shit all makes sense, man. You should have called me and told me. You've been bending over for Black Lives Matter and you were probably upset 
that my views on America don't change like the wind. Like how yours do. <laughs> Now, some of you may say, well, Dan, did you just play a clip of Ryan saying that the whole Black Lives Matter group can suck Ryan's ass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now instead of Black Lives Matter sucking Ryan's ass, Ryan is smooching Black Lives Matter's ass. Look who's on. And yet he won't show those clips if they exist. Why is that? on his new album, Boozy Badass, also known as Lil Boosie, or also known as Torrance Hatch. Oh, you know what, I forgot one. He's also known as the biggest race-baiting Black Lives Matter supporting crybaby out there to date. Uh, like, I hate the police, you know? I don't even like their kids. You know, they're, they're way more illegal. Dirty cops are way more illegal and, and, and vicious than, 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 than regular people. You called out Luke Combs for catering to the left's race baiting crap. Now I'm gonna call you out for doing the same damn thing. And we are Okay, look, just because Church likes Boosie badass music and whatever, does that mean that he's gonna agree with the guy politically or agree with the guy, you know, on some things? No, not always the case, but does that mean that that they're gonna um, be enemies because they don't always agree? No. I mean, I'm sure Boosie and Church, they have an agreement, like, they have an understanding. Like, look, we may not see eye to eye and everything, but hey, you know what? At the end of the day, it's all about the music. It's all about making great music. And plus, I'm pretty sure uh, Church has been, you know, having some issues with the police. I mean, he's made videos about that, too. You know what I'm saying? I'm not justifying anything. I'm not trying to make no excuse for anything. I'm just telling you what, what I've seen and what I've heard from the guy. So, look. I don't know what, uh, actually, I shouldn't say that because I know what he's trying to do. He's trying to expose church just like, um, again, Gobbleneck tried to do, just like many other people try to do. You know what I mean? And it's, and, and, and dude's crying and bitching about, oh, getting blocked and shit. Yeah, dude, probably because people, people don't want to associate you with, with you because, look, you're, you're on here stirring up shit on social media. Making an excuse saying like, oh my, my my fucking phone is blocked. They blocked my phone and everything. Did you try messaging the guy through like Instagram or did you try texting him? Did you you know what I mean? I'm sure there's other ways you could have got the contact with dude. Email. Did you email the guy? You know what I'm saying? But no, see, look, you're on here on camera and you're trying to you know, call church out and say, well, do you like to handle things this way? Well, it's like, well, dude, two wrongs will make a right. You're doing the same thing he does. You know what I'm saying? And what? And for what? Try, trying to prove a, a point? I mean, you're, you're no better than, than, than the guy that you're trying to expose when you're doing the exact same thing that you're calling him out for. You know what I mean? It's just fucking, this whole thing is fucking stupid. Look, did, did church handle things in the best of ways? Let's say that what he's saying is true. Did your channel the uh, things that the, the best away? If what he's saying is true, then no. I, I would say, no. okay, no. You know what I mean? Maybe he did it. You know what I'm saying? Look, I'm not going to sit here and act like, you know, church does no wrong or whatever. Has church made, made mistakes in the past? Yes, he has. Is he making mistakes now? Probably, but, it, you know, it is what it is at the end of the day. He's a flawed human being just like the rest of us and just like, you know, heavy duty country here. Now, look. I hope that uh, this doesn't go any further, you know what I'm saying? I hope that uh, these guys, you know what I mean, um, work this thing out because the last thing we need is any more division in, in our country, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure we all have better, bigger and better fish to fry. Let's go. Y'all know you had him on the album to reach a new crowd of people. Yes, because Bootsy is one of Church's favorite artists. So I'm sure it meant the world to him to have one of his favorite artists on this record with him. You know what I'm saying? And that's and that's the beauty of this great country of ours. We can have we, we don't always have to agree on everything, but that doesn't mean we have to hate each other. That doesn't mean we have to disrespect you know each other because we don't always agree. Look at me and, and the community I hang out with. Do me and for example, me and my boy Tyler. Shout out to my man Alpha Tyler. 
do he do he and I always agree on everything? No, we don't. But there are some things that we do agree on, and that's you know, and that's all that matters at the end of the day. And even in areas where, where we disagree, we try to find you know some common ground. We try to find um, it, within our disagreements, we try to find little things that we can agree on. You know what I'm saying? We don't just leave each other like hanging, like okay, fine, whatever. You know what I mean? You don't you don't agree with me on this and that, whatever. We can't be friends no more. No, we don't. We're, we're not like that. We're not bred like that. You know what I'm saying? We understand that. Hey, look, man, it's cool for us to disagree with each other on some things. You know what I'm saying? But we can still be boys. You know what I'm saying? We can still have respect for each other at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? We're all because we're all entitled at the end of the day. But anyway, I'm sorry, man. I'm going into all these different side tangents and everything. But yeah, going back to uh, Church of Thousand People's Champ. The YZ remix that features um, Boosie Badass. Look, Boosie has his own views. Church has his own views. You know what I'm saying? And just because they have opposing views doesn't mean they have to be enemies. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't mean that they have to be on opposite ends of, of the battle line. You know what I mean? Bruh. AKA the black population or Black Lives Matter because you sure didn't have him on there because of the sound. He sounds like a five-year-old Mike Tyson on your track. But let's see, just because I know you enjoy the drama shit. Boozy badass on looting during the George Floyd protests. It's all well deserved. Gosh dang it, if that ain't America and country, I don't know what is. Or what about this? This is great. Here's a clip of him bragging about having a grown woman give his 12 and 13 year old son's head. I'm training them boys right at 12, 13, they got hit. Yes, a grown woman, grown, super grown. You know what that's called, Ryan? That's called pedophilia. Yeah, you have an agent for pedophilia on your new album. Wow. But now let's get on to what Boosie really thinks of anyone but black people. It, 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 yeah. You know, that's why black lives matter. Yeah. No, your fucking life doesn't matter, right? Wait till 2021 and I'll think about your life matter. All these people who are listening to your album who are mainly white, just know that there's a dude who was allowed to be on his album that's still deciding if your life matters. Or how about Boosie bitching about how every black family deserves five grand a month or else he's just gonna burn it all down. Fuck that, we want our money. Every black family, 5K a month, or uh, burn this bitch down. Burn every dog house, burn the whole world down, fuck it. Or what about that song, Ryan, that Boosie made called Fuck the Police? I'm sorry, I forgot. Isn't your drummer's wife a cop? Yeah, I've met her. She's badass. Ask her what she thinks of you working with a guy who wrote a song that said fuck the police. Boosie is also a dude who was named in a murder for hire plot. And the only reason why he didn't get convicted is because his protege, Marlo Mike Louding, saying Boosie had nothing to do with it after he earlier told prosecutors that Boosie ordered the hit. Guess who's in prison for life? Marlo, not Boosie. Nope, Boosie is on the Up Church album. Fuck, Ryan, that is some American ass, country ass shit. Which is it? Are you bending over for Black Lives Matter? Or are you still saying that they're terrorists? Oh yeah, Boosie, I forgot. Since you're all about the black power stuff and white people knowing their place nowadays, <clears throat> Ryan has something to say to you about that. The nicest way possible that my mouth knows Oh yeah, Boosie, I forgot. Since you're all about the black power stuff and white people knowing their place nowadays, Ryan has something to say to you about that. The nicest way possible that my mouth knows how to say it. I'm not your fucking nigga, okay? Stop telling me. What's up, nigga? What's been cracking, nigga? <clears throat> Nigga, no, I'm not your nigga. And to end all this, I got a little message for Boosie. Remember that quiet canine guy that was on the plane with you in first class that you couldn't put together? The one who whispered in your ear when you got off the plane? He wanted me to tell you in Upchurch, nothing you do is unseen. There you go, Ryan, there's your apology. Now you can go back to arguing with junkies on YouTube, like where you belong. Or maybe Tom McDonald and Adam Calhoun can make a song about you bending over to Black Lives Matter. Always a pleasure.
Alright guys, so you heard from Heavy Duty Country. So where do you guys stand with all this? Do you guys believe in everything that Heavy Duty Country is saying? Or do you think old boy is blowing things out of proportion? Bruh. Uh, I mean, I'm at a loss for words, y'all. Um, you guys know the deal. If you want to watch and listen to this on your own free time, uninterrupted as you would like. You know, to do that original link for the original video in the description down below. If you guys are with this um, reaction, y'all know to do that thumbs up down below. Y'all know what to do with that comment section down below. Look forward to checking out y'all's feedback, as I always do. And uh, don't forget, guys, underneath the uh, video link, we have the link for the second channel. Uh, if you're into video games, wrestling, and other cool uh, geek shit, that is the link for y'all to go click on. Don't forget, of course, we got rea uh, reaction request instructions. Feel free to look that over. Proceed in a way that makes you the most comfortable. And uh, yeah, remember, free requests are just as important as donor requests. I react, I respond to those just as quickly and just as swiftly. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah. And don't forget, of course, two store links. We got Spring Merch Store, Kula Hawaii CBD, both of which will have their own discount slash coupon codes. You know what I'm saying? To help save you out on your purchases. And uh, yeah. And don't forget, guys, if you can't support the channel financially, uh, no worries, all good, no hard feels. Trust, I understand. We're going through some crazy times right now. I get it. You're still helping out in the long run by simply making sure you are subscribed to this channel and uh, make sure you get your bell notifications uh, set to all so you never miss an upload. Doesn't cost a single red cent, but still a big help nonetheless. A hey, especially if you're new here, of course. And of course, that was the goals for all of my folks and the folks that I rock with section. Make sure we're, uh, we're showing the fan bam. Uh, some love. We greatly appreciate that. Think I nailed everything. So with all that being said, it is your boy, Jason JV. Saying y'all take care. Have a blessed one. Catch y'all in the next one. Peace.